Okay, um, all right, you're probably watching this right now, um, well, you are, yeah, um, I put up a video, I put up a message to Oculus Go, I tried to get, to get their attention, I said I'm going to kill Mark Zuckerberg, and I'm going to kill all their science team, or something like that, um, uh, the whole purpose was, was to get them to come to the realization, uh, that I know what they know, and the reason why they do not have a copy and paste feature in the Oculus Go. Why there is no copy and paste feature. They took out that whole feature to keep people from using ALVR with their Oculus Go. Because they were afraid that if people were to be able to paste the key code and, and install ALVR on the Go, then... They would, uh, people would not buy Oculus Rifts, okay? So they would use their Go's with uh, Steam uh, VR and ALVR to, uh, which is an ALVR is an application, it's an open source that permits you to use, to s stream video from Steam VR to the Go and to use the Go with the Steam. Uh, so, it, it lets you interface with your PC without using a Rift, and you can use it with a Go. So they were afraid that people would do this, and they wouldn't be able to sell Rifts. So they took the copy and paste feature out of the Go for this reason. And because of this reason, this is also, I don't understand why there's no copy and paste feature in the Oculus Go, and now I know why. It's because they were afraid that it would ruin their Rift market. Well, let me tell you, Buster, it's going to screw more than your Go market. It's going to screw your whole fucking, your all, everything you could ever possibly make. All your billions of dollars, it's all fucked now. Because I am going to point out to everybody the reason why you took the copy and paste feature out of your Oculus Go. It wasn't for some little reason. It wasn't, it, it was because you were afraid that people would stop buying riffs okay so well you're fucked now you are totally fucked and i don't give a shit okay i am going to support your competitors i'm going to buy into your competitors products i'm going to stop buying goes i won't i don't see any point in getting goes now because now that i know the way that mark zuckerberg thinks i am going to do, stop doing that i will have a facebook account now, if he removes my Facebook account, I will say to this Zuckerberg, I will support everything in open source that will ruin your life forever. F forever and ever. Amen. Because that's the way Kiernan Holland works. I work this way with everybody that pisses me off. I will fuck them. And that's the way I work. Okay? So, uh, and so this is the letter that I sent them. And it says at the, at the end, those are my terms. Sorry about the cussing and the killing. I needed to get your attention. I've never hurt anyone physically in my life, aside from my fifth grade teacher, which I punched her in the stomach. That is the only person I've ever hurt. Okay. But I've hurt lots and lots of people financially. Okay. By ruining their market. And the first one I did this for was um, whenever I was using Alias Wavefront software back in the 90s. I wanted Wavefront TAV. Wavefront would sell me it. They wouldn't sell me a license to it. So they would not permit me to even use the software that I had spent three years learning um, on uh, for, for their product. And they wanted me to move to Maya. Well, I said, fuck them. I went and I supported Blender. And I did that for as long as I could, which was like about five or six years. And then look at it today. Look at where Blender is today. Uh, Alias Wavefront has only, you know, Tun did the back the uh, envelope calculation based upon their um, their prospectus or what it, they have to give their stock it, uh, uh, investors, um, what um, what they represent according to um, how much uh, their whole division is worth is about a hundred million dollars revenue each year and. Uh, Maya only sees a little portion of that, and uh, Tun did a back of the envelope calculation. Said there's twelve to fifteen thousand licenses of Maya in the world. 
because um, they they don't represent the major majority of the market, which is Blender. And this is what's going to happen to Oculus Go. Okay, this is what's going to happen to Microsoft's offering at Altspace VR. We are going to open source it. And open sourcing, you may understand open sourcing as a way of coming up with standards. You may have, uh, understand open sourcing as a way of tr how to um, bring uh, great programs into existence. Open source, the what started the first open source, the GNU project, was when, uh, when uh, Bell Labs decided that they were going to close source the Unix product that they had been offering open source for free to universities, including the one that Richard Stallman was at. And when they decided to close source it, Richard Stallman said, no more. I'm going to start making my own, and it's going to be called GNU. GNU's not Unix, which is a recursive acronym. GNU's not Unix, okay? So just to let people know that GNU is not Unix. Linux is the result of that. Linux came about because of GNU. GNU had all of the software packages but the kernel, which was created by Linus Torvald, and Linux uh, came to light, came to be because of GNU. And we have Linux, we have Android. All of that came as a result of uh, open source. And even Mark Zuckerberg's uh, you know, child uh, prodigy, uh, Facebook, was formed on open source software. Just the fact that he would turn around and he would suck that, punch that sucker in the mouth and say, I'm not going to let people have their way with this, with my products. I am not going to let people get the same freedoms that I enjoyed in creating my product. I am not going to offer it to other people. By saying that, I am essentially saying that Zuckerberg has become uh, his nemesis. He has become the, the person that he probably wouldn't have uh, valued in his younger years when he was uh, 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 when he was uh, taking on this open source and he was going to make his Facebook product. When he created Facebook, he created it on an open source. He created it and. Now he's turning his back on us and he's saying, I'm going to go pro close source. I'm going to make lots of money and I'm going to screw the whole open source community because uh, I am who I am. Mark Zuckerberg, I'm a complete asshole. Okay, so Zuckerberg, you're fucked. You're fucked. Um, you may not be fucked financially, but you are fucked from the open source community's point of view. You are no longer a person. We don't care about you. You are no longer a human. You're not even human. We don't even value you as a human anymore. You might as well kill yourself because you are not valued among us, okay? Until you can redeem yourself and come back to the way in which you were originally, okay? Now, um... His chief scientist, uh, who is his name? I can't recall it. Uh, oh, what was his name? Uh, I, I, I don't recall his name. He's the guy that was in NVIDIA. He was the guy that started uh, um, Quake. Uh, darn, what is that name of that guy? I just forget his name. That's what's going to happen to him, too. People are going to forget his name. And I won't give a shit about it, either. I'll say, fuck you all. Because you're all fucked now.